Hi everyone, today is Friday, June 21st, 2013. Uh, what you see here are one of my okra plant, and I have two of them. Uh, they are quite big in, in terms of size, uh, but if you look at the, 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 uh, the leaves here, I guess, the, uh, I guess you call it arms or the stem extending to the leaves, it is humongous. I have never, have never planted any okra this big. But at any rate, I want to talk about something that it's uh, pretty much bother our organic gardener. Uh, in terms of pest control, uh, I also have another video. But today I want to really demonstrate how I get rid of some of the pests. Uh, what I meant is it's aphis that is attracting to the very beautiful, very soft, tender leaves underneath some of the, uh, on the plant. So on the other plant, this one is fine. This one doesn't have much. Uh, as a matter of fact, this one doesn't have any uh, uh, any aphids at all. But I want to turn to the other plant here. You can just turn the corner here and show you guys how much how how bad it is when I did not pay attention uh, to the plant. This is also another okra plant, and like I say, this is a beautiful plant. Very very healthy, very large. And, but if you look underneath the leaves, uh, I don't know if you can, if you can see that. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But let me see if I can get a, a good shot. Let me turn the leaves over. I think that's probably easier. And look at that. Can you guys see that? Uh, some places even worse. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect shot right there. All those little black little dots. Or some kind of aphids, some kind of uh, insects uh, that munch on the uh, the under soft tender leaves of the okra plant, and if you don't get rid of them, uh, eventually they'll suck the the leaves dry and uh, really do a lot of damage to your plant. Not only that, they will multiply and they'll spread throughout the garden. Now I, I want to show you guys also the the other plant I have, the beans. They also very susceptible to some of the aphids because they're nice and soft and tender. So today, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, surely you cannot uh, use your hand to pick them out. Sometimes you can, but this is way too much. So what I do is I use the water spray. This is what I have here. And I will spray the bottom leaves really strong to, to get rid of it. And by holding the leaves, uh, you can spray them and, and they'll come off. And that's all you can do. And most of the time, it works. And once you spray them, they'll you blast them away, and that's pretty much the end of them. Okay. So let me see if I can do this right here. Uh, I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time, so it's kind of hard. Look at that. That blast gone. But you gotta be sometimes you gotta be careful not to see that. That's completely gone right there. Hold little. Uh, sometimes you be careful not to break the plant. So normally I use I, normally I would hold the, the leaves at the other side, the other end. So be resting against my palm when I blast the water, and that will completely blast all the aphids away. Now one interesting thing is that I see some I also see some 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 uh, ladybugs. Uh, every time you see ladybugs, it's a good sign, but it's also it's also meant that there might be aphids around, other insects around. That's why there's ladybugs. So I do see ladybugs in my garden, and every time you follow ladybugs, eventually you'll see the uh, the aphis. Okay. So, but the uh, the plants have been doing quite well. Like I said, uh, I've been feeding it twice a week with compost tea. So that's why the plant is very healthy and it can withstand some of the attack from the insects. But even though the plant is healthy, you still need to get rid of them. Otherwise, it will spread throughout your garden. And look at this, how nasty that is. Look at that. Okay, so that's my latest update on the method of how I get rid of aphids by using water uh, water to blast them off. Okay, thank you for watching. Tune in. I'll, I'll post another video. Thank you.